So here's my problem. We recently had new tires installed on our 2015 Buick Encore, and the Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, is showing this message on the front right tire. We've taken the car twice to the tire dealership, and they state the pressure in the tire is 36 PSI, and state it might be a bad sensor. Not believing in that kind of coincidence, I went online and ordered this device. So let's get after it. This is not an endorsement of this product or any product, just a demonstration on how this device works. Products like this state they work by resetting the sensor inside the tire and causing your vehicle to relearn your tire pressures. This model comes with no battery, so we're going to insert a 9 volt by removing the back cover. Press in on the tension latch and remove it. The battery compartment nor the cover have a battery position indicator on it, so I got lucky by inserting the battery with the positive terminal on the left side. I later learned the device light will not come on if the battery is in backwards. Now this device only has one button used to sync the tire sensor, so it couldn't be simpler. It also has a low battery indicator. The instructions state you merely lay the antenna at the top against the side of the tire where the valve stem is and press and hold the button till the horn blows. Let me show you how this works. If you don't have this screen pulled up, turn the key switch on and press the menu button on the turn signal stalk and twist the collar until you see this screen. We want to place the TPMS in learn mode and here's how. Press the set clear button on the end of the turn signal stalk. This will put you in learn mode. Turn the stalk collar until the selection changes to yes. And confirm by pressing the set clear button one time. Now this causes the car horn to beep twice and puts you in TPMS learn mode. Exit the vehicle and begin at the driver's side front tire by pressing the device antenna against the tire near the valve stem and press and hold the device button until the car horn beeps. Move to the passenger front tire and repeat. And then the passenger rear tire. And when you learn the last tire at the driver's side rear, the system gives you one beep to confirm the learn mode and two beeps to confirm complete. Now check it out. Remember the front right tire was showing 28 PSI and now shows 36. But what's up with the driver's side rear? Full disclosure, I went through this learn routine twice before I decided to drive the car down the road to see if the pressures would reset. When the tire pressures did not change, I went to my local gas station and checked the pressures using their pump. And sure enough, the driver's side rear was 28 PSI. I ended up inflating all the tires to 36 pounds, but my point being, the driver's side rear was showing an incorrect pressure of 37 near the beginning of this video. If I hadn't used this device, I would not have known the pressure was low in that tire until I got another warning. In conclusion, it seems the tire dealership would have reset this for me upon changing the tires, and perhaps your dealership will. But just in case, know that devices like this apparently work and will save you a lot of money over going to the car dealership or just randomly changing out the tire sensors at about $120 each, assuming they're bad. I'll post a link for this device in case you're interested. At around 7 bucks on eBay, I consider this a bargain.